guys, it's Tamika here from the Saddle Bank and today I'm going to show you how to change a gullet bar in an easy change fit solution saddle. This applies to Bates, Arena and Wintec saddles. So the bars just like look like this and you can see it's got the easy change gullet on the side and then on the other side it shows you what size gullet bar it is. So with these saddles they have four screws in them. The first two are by the D-rings at the front. So if I just turn that around you can see that there. So they've got one each side here and the other two are in the bar which is inside so with these saddles they have a velcro and then you can see the bar here this has currently got a black bar in and we're going to change it to a red which is a wide so first of all we're going to undo the screws by the d-rings so i've just got a normal phillips screwdriver here so just undoing these first and then you can undo the screws that are in the bar in the middle So that will come off with the D-ring as well. So that's completely normal. And you should have a washer in the middle as well there. Now I'm just gonna do the other side. And again, that will come off with the D-ring. So that's what it should look like when it's out. So now we're just going to flip the saddle over and take the panels off of the point to be able to access the bar that's in the saddle at the moment. So we're going to pull this Velcro flap down and then just pull the panels off like that. So then you can see now the two screws that are on the bar. So we need to undo them as well to be able to change this bar. So the writing that's on the bar is facing me at the moment. So you want to make sure that we put the next bar in exactly the same way. If not, it's not going to sit flush in the channel. This bar is quite easy, so they come straight out. And oh, like I said before, we need to make sure this writing is exactly the same place with our new bar. So that was facing me on the left side. So with this one, I'm just going to make sure that we pull the panels out of the point pocket and we can actually just push them out the way for a second so we can access this really clearly. And you can see here, this little bit that sticks out should go straight in the holes of the bar. So we put one side in and then you can actually put the other side in as well. So put one side in and I just push down in the middle and that should then pop in. There we go, you can hear it click. So now you can see that we've got clear access to where the screws need to go back in. Now that's all done up, what I can do is I can put that flat back on the Velcro and that's all securely in. So the next thing we need to do is now just put your panels back into your point pockets which are here. So this is where your next screw from the D-ring also goes into so we want to make sure that lines up quite nicely. here so I can get to it. I'm going to make sure all the girth straps are out of the way as well so we're not getting any caught. So when this is done back up you don't then have a missing girth strap. I'm just going to turn this round so I can make sure it's properly in that pocket. There we go. I'm going to pull that girth strap out as well to make sure it's not caught up the top otherwise you're not going to be able to get the screw where the D-ring is back in. And you can see here I turn this back around you can see where the metal bit lines back up so that's it there you can see where it lines back up and then your screw will go through this bit and straight back into there to be able to put it back together properly 
I'm just going to do the same on the other side. Again, going to pull the girth strap out of the way to make sure it doesn't get caught. And then that little metal bit will go through into that hole again. So also a really good feature of these ones is that they have a little bit of leather here. So if we take down the flap, this will tuck in. So that also then helps to pull it into the correct place. And then you can just pop that back in there. So now we just need to put the screws back in where the D-rings are. There we go. So that's the hole there. We're just going to make sure that this is all the way at the top of the screw. If not, it kind of gets halfway and gets stuck. It's also quite good because then if it's got if this D-ring's halfway, you're going to get halfway in and you're not going to be able to screw it anymore. So we want to make sure that's right at the top near the screw there. Then we can pop that through. And I can actually see here that where it's going in. So I want that straight back into that silver bit. And then I can use my screwdriver to screw that in. So you can see now as well that's completely closed up that gap. Whereas this side is obviously is still quite open because we haven't got the screw in that side. So we're just going to do the same on the other side. Again, moving that D ring right up to the top of the screw. There we go. So again, you want the screw to be nice and tight, but you don't want it to be so tight that you can't undo it next time when you need to change the bar again. And you can see that that's completely closing up the gap in between the panel and the fog flap. So that's completely closed both the gaps up. So that was how to change the gullet bar in an easy change fit solution saddle. I hope this video has been really helpful. If you've got any questions, comment down below and make sure you also subscribe. It's been Tamika at the Saddlebank.